The French are undoubtedly an aviation nation. They were the first to take to the skies in a balloon and one of the first to build airplanes. The names of French aviation designers and pilots Louis Blaroy, Edward Newport, Henri Fabreau, Adolphe Pigou, and Roland Giraud are forever inscribed in the history of world aviation. But in recent years, the glory of France as one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturing powers has faded. In the mid-70s, the French put the Mirage 2000 on the wing, and in the mid-80s, the Rafale fourth-generation fighter took to the skies. And that was it. Four two-plus generation planes, much less the fifth generation? No, this is not about French aviation. But it seems that the country, which was the first to invent the balloon, seaplane, and aircraft machine gun, decided to take revenge to create a sixth-generation fighter at once. Let's see what the proud French are up to. Let's first define what kind of beast this is, a sixth-generation fighter. It's worth saying that currently no country has such a machine, and all sorts of speculation about this have no basis whatsoever. The West sometimes calls the Russian Su-70 Hunter uncrewed aerial vehicle a sixth-generation fighter, which was created using stealth technology, and its name implies that it does not have a pilot. But this machine was never built as a full-fledged fighter at all. It's a heavy-strike drone which will work in conjunction with the Russian fifth-generation fighter Su-57. In general, the signs of the sixth generation usually include improved stealth technology, highly integrated network systems, ultra-sensitive sensors, the ability to operate in an unmanned mode, efficiency in all flight modes, and weapons based on new physical principles such as a powerful combat laser. De facto, the sixth generation appears to be a vast improvement from the fifth generation. It will be hard to draw the line between them. For a long time, the United States, which was the first in the world to introduce a fifth generation fighter, the F-22, was considered the leader in the creation of sixth generation fighters. The thunder came in 2018 when France and Germany announced their plans to build next generation combat vehicles. In April 2018, French Defense Minister Florence Parley and her German counterpart Ursula von der Leyen signed an agreement to begin work on the design of the future Franco-German next-generation fighter, being built as part of the future air combat system. This is potentially the most expensive and complex military program in European history. Moreover, the French company Dassault Aviation presented a mock-up of a sixth-generation fighter at Euronaval 2018 in Paris. The French developer demonstrated its concept of the machine, which in the future should replace the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale fighters. Airbus Defense and Space and Dassault teams are currently working on the project, and the French and German defense ministries are the key customers of the development. According to the statements of Dassault aviation specialists, the new fighter will be many times superior to American fighters F-35 and F-22, as they'll be controlled without the direct involvement of a pilot. In general, the French and Germans got involved in multi-billion dollar projects not to prove to the world that they're still very good. The reason is more prosaic. Elementary fear of the future. Imagine the state of French and German politicians when U.S. President loudly announces that he's thinking about withdrawing his country from NATO, that this organization is obsolete, and very close by, the Russians are successfully testing their fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57, and their fourth-generation fighters, the 2-plus Su-35, have long been confidently plying the skies. Perhaps self-love has also played a role. Europeans are tired of buying American F-35s which are not only notorious for their high cost, but also for hundreds of technical deficiencies and astronomical maintenance costs. The most important role in this ambitious French-German project will be played by two companies, Dassault Aviation, which created the Rafale and Airbus. By the way, why has France become the leading player in the program out of all European countries? The fact is that the Fifth Republic is the only European country capable of independently producing modern fighters. Germany, recall, was deprived of such an opportunity after World War II and built combat aircraft together with Italy and Great Britain. 
There's also the Swedish Gripen, but its propulsion system is built around American technology. The Europeans should be commended. The new program, despite all sorts of technical risks and political contradictions, got a low star. On February 6, 2019, Parley and Ursula von der Leyen signed an agreement between Airbus and Dassault Aviation to jointly conduct the conceptual phase of the research and development work on the program. The cost of the agreement is 65 million euros and the phase is for two years. It is this contract can be considered as the actual beginning of work on the promising aircraft. Over the several years since the agreement was signed, several different concepts have been presented. The first, as we said above, was shown at Euronaval 2018. At that time, the French demonstrated a fighter jet that looked like something between the F-22 and the Su-57. However, at the La Bourget Air Show, which opened on June 17, 2019, they presented a mock-up of an entirely different machine, similar to the YF-23 prototype. Recall that at the start of the U.S. program, to create a fifth-generation F-22 Raptor fighter, two prototypes were presented. The YF-22, created by a team of Lockheed, Boeing, and General Dynamics, and YF-23, the brainchild of Northrop and McDonnell Douglas, then the YF-22-1. Though by such a key requirement, providing cruising supersonic speed without using an afterburner, YF-23 won over the future F-22 Raptor. It showed 1.8 Mach, and the YF-22 was only 1.58 Mach, and that was only on the afterburner. But back to the next generation fighter. Based on the model shown, we can conclude that the prospective European machine will get a single seat cockpit, two engines and air intakes similar to those equipped with the F-35 fighter. An unmanned variant is also possible. Major technical aspects are also to be determined in the future. But something is already known today. It was previously reported that a consortium of the French Safran Group and Germany's MTU Aero engines will develop the engine for the new aircraft. Safran will design and integrate the engine as well as build the combustion chamber, high-pressure turbine, and afterburner. In turn, MTU Aero engines will build the low- and high-pressure compressors and the low-pressure turbine. The engine's electronic control system will be created by Aerospace Embedded Solutions, a joint venture between Safran and MTU. At the moment, the Franco-German 6th generation fighter program looks more realistic than the two similar U.S. programs, the FAXX and Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, for the U.S. Navy and Air Force respectively. Now the U.S. has directed the main efforts to build and refine the F-35. In addition, a significant part of the defense budget went to the prospective B-21 Raider bomber. In short, now the Americans are not concerned with the 6. Because of the technical complexity and high cost of the Franco-German program, the terms of its implementation are more than blurred. According to preliminary data, the first flight of the Next Generation Fighter Technologies demonstrator is scheduled for about 2026, and the aircraft will enter service around 2040 when France and Germany will begin to withdraw their fighters from Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon. That is, we'll see a production machine very soon. But taking into account the emerging, one might say, the stormy geopolitical situation, the development of such a machine is, in our opinion, the only opportunity to preserve its European school of combat aviation. Otherwise, it'd be possible to forget about European fighters. And what do you think about the French 6th generation fighter? Write about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and support our channel by subscribing. There will be many more videos about interesting weapons innovations to come.